Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you have not been here before. Um, just good vibes, love is welcome here, is 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 received out, pushed out, just good vibes. That's what we need nowadays, huh? Some good vibes. Well, first of all, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prime my eyes, and I'm gonna use some of my Morphe. <clears throat> If you don't have primer, use concealer. I just highly suggest you prime. It will make all the difference. Do one day, <laughs> one day do one eye prime, then one eye not, and go see the difference. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna put this on. My kids are being hella loud. I I apologize. I mean, gosh, everything can't be just going all peachy peachy, huh? Okay. So I'm gonna be using this little tiny cutie little Huda Beauty palette. Safari, Safari, Safari. How we say that obsessions? And this is what she looks like. Or he, whatever. Whatever you want to call. Okay, so first of all, what I'm going to do give me a brush. And we might use some glitter. I'm going to work in this outer corner. It's really pretty. Now I'm going to go in with a blending brush with nothing on it and just kind of blend it out. See? See? You just kind of blend it out. We'll do the other side. We'll do the same way. Add a little more. Just working on packing on the color and blending because we don't want to look crazy. Like right now. And actually on the end it has a, a little blending brush so that's actually what I'm going to use be easier on me no product added adding a little product to the other side Well, that side had more product than the other side. Let's see if I can see through this mirror. And just blend out some.
kind of up higher on this side, huh? And I'm not adding any more color to my brush. It's just what is left over that I am blending. Okay. Next, I'm going to take me a... I want a small blending brush. We'll do like this right here. And I'm going to go into this color right here. Get that other brush, pick that blue back up, and go in that corner. I keep like reaching down. <laughs> okay, so let's put down a white base. And I'm thinking maybe like I'm really digging this color and this is really pretty. So let's see what we come up with. We'll just use Morphe's um, concealer. It's the widest one. I don't know. Let's do halfway. Oh, well, we can fix it, huh? I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. Okay. I think I'm going to deepen up the blue over there. And we're going to add glitter. Ooh, I know what we're going to do now. I don't think I'm going to do the silver anymore.
His colors are so pigmented. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take like a packing brush and I'm going to go into this color right here. It's like a beautiful Putting plenty on it because... Maybe we could put some yellow in the inner corner. So it's really pretty. a little bit more. We're going to go in that same color and go in that next eye. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I love it, love it, love it. Okay. Kind of like... Hold on, let me put this light on. I want to show you something. Because... I want to do glitter. The only thing sucks about... You're not being able to talk to me right now. Just leaving me comments. Um... Hold on, I'm trying to figure out where this is at. Okay, maybe not. I was gonna plug this up and turn on the light so you could see it a little better. Oh, here it is. Look at that. Whoops. Come on, baby. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay. So, glitter. I don't think I'm gonna do glitter. I'm gonna do some yellow in the inner corner and maybe some yellow down here to pop. I wish I had yellow liquid eyeliner. It's just not, it doesn't look the same if I wet it with rose water, water, setting spray. Okay. Let's take a little bit of this yellow. Okay. I kind of got a little blue mixed up in it. Let's put on some eyeliner. We'll go in with some Morphe. This is like a gel liquid eyeliner. I like gel best because it's like bolder to me. I just like it. Hey, 
and I'm trying to just follow my lash line. I'm not trying to pick my nose, sorry, my nose keeps itching. Where's my... fall out. Kind of put a little wing on it. Okay, let's do some mascara. Those colors are really pretty. I forgot to curl my lashes. So if you have any certain looks or colors or whatever you want me to do, then you can just leave it in a comment and I'll gladly, I would love to give me some ideas. Okay, so we got some mascara on. Let's go ahead and prime our skin. So, did, can anybody, like, I'm, you're going to be able to answer me, tell me the importance of priming our skin after moisturizing? Because I've already moisturized. Well, I'll tell you just why. This primer goes over your pores and your wrinkles. It creates, like, a smooth canvas. Like, especially, like, if this one here, when I use this one, my skin is just so smooth and it prolongs your makeup too. So if you have big pores and stuff, use primer, use primer. You will be amazed at the difference. It doesn't take much either. Okay, and it's best to let that like set in for a bit. That way it can absorb in your skin. And while I'm doing that, my hair's falling down. Ugh. Oh well. Um, let's take a little bit of that blue and put it underneath.
foundation time, babies. Okay, so I'm mixing two of them because I've been tanning. Can't stop, won't stop one in beige. And this one is buff. And then I'm going to take me some concealer. Not only will this give more coverage, but I need it to be darker. <laughs> And this here is actually just BH Cosmetics. And it's actually pretty cool because if you wanted to contour with it, it's like that. And I'm going to mix this together. Like, if you got a foundation that's too light, go grab you some... Gun blah, 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 blah. Grab you some concealer that's darker. Grab you some foundation. Mix it. Don't waste it. I'm just going to blend this in. This like goes further than you realize. <laughs> I'll put my brows on in a minute. black on me. There, that covered it up. Go down on your neck. Okay, let's do our eyebrows. What on your side? Okay, let me get my little brush. And I'm using Anastasia. And this one's in blonde. I try to get blonde in this one right here, but it is way too light. And I just go up above my brow. Right, we'll blow it and trace it, and then I fill it in. Let's do the other one. This is the best pomade. Okay. Let's do a little bit of contouring. Actually, yeah, here it is. Let me put some powder on because I like to set this. Where's my contouring brush? Use this one in Ofra, which is called Bronzer Americano. 
and then I'm putting it right there in the hole, hollow part. I use a cream contour. I always use powder over it too to set it. Let's use a blush. This one's by Urban Decay called Quickie. Just a nice pretty pink shimmer color. And then some highlighter. Oops, my light just went out. Oh well. Oh well, it's not working now. Oprah highlighter. Just right underneath there. Now for a lip color. I think I'm going to do red. And this is the CoverGirl one that I've gotten on sale. I haven't used it yet. Okay. So that is my look today. Thank you. Peace out.